Here we go, welcome back to Project Track Day, and as I currently in the level 65, but unfortunately we're not doing for some kind of race mode for this time, because looks like we're going to be doing for a classic lap times as well, starting in Group 5 Special, in including for just a little bit for instance, other Group 5s in Group C. Now looks like the Group C cars was the part of these and what absolutely it means, you're going to be using for Sukuba. Now, last thing that we're going to be doing for all the way, is this got to be a quick video. It's not going to be taking for a little bit for this one. So, is it going to be the hell that day? If we can't able to get all the way across over here. And because this day, will be absolutely taking on for the classic lap times for our very first time. So looks like we're going to be taking inside of their garage as well. So it looks like we have some group 5 special to start with absolutely one this. We have all four group 5 special cars. We have the Porsche 539, 67, 1967 for this one. We got three variants except that one as well and other kinds of two cars were BH or Argentinius. And the next one is the Porsche 935. And this is absolutely for a various maximum attack of this guys as well. So looks like I'm gonna be first. Let's use this guy as well. I'm pretty sure that we're gonna be going inside of this vehicle. And maybe I wasn't able to get wrong as well. So only one player is gonna be left for today. As we're gonna be taking on for a second gear. Now looks like this vehicle is absolutely taking for all the way down here. It has a 5 manual transmission. Wait a second, it's not doing like the 5 manual transmission. This is a 4 manual transmission. And because this is what absolutely Jake to fall off with this one. And it is gonna be taking for a huge understeer. Let's gonna be doing for a best lap times classic. With all of a sudden, it's gonna be taking for a little bit slow. It's not gonna be really wild fast. Let's do for a classic lap time license as well. Now it looks like I'm gonna be turning all the way into back onto the throttle into third gear. Now blasting all the way into one piece before turning into its second gear. Now we're gonna be taking all the way into its blast size. Let's take it a little bit closing in. And now let's entering around for the PG Motorsport mode. Inside of the onboard view. Wasn't absolutely gonna be taking for this one. It looks like we're gonna be might able to might go into oversteer. 23 seconds on the clock. Looks like that must be similar to GT4 cars. And looks like we're gonna be using around the gear one and shift up to gear two. And what about this gonna be really happened is gonna be getting down. The Porsche 962, or I mean some kind of Porsche 935 has blasted all the way in the under 50 seconds. It looks like this is gonna be taking for all of this sudden. It looks like how much inside of his cockpit view was for the Porsche 917K one. As well for the 1960s by using for this vehicle as well. So if this is not absolutely you may know, and it's gonna be taking for a little bit much more than I guess. Let's move on to the next Porsche. So the next one is the Porsche 935 owned at a level 21. It has been all ready to try to use this vehicle beyond the, its side for this one of the team. So it looks like we're gonna be getting inside and let's start it to do maximum attack size as well. Is because we're gonna be taking all the way down into its front, it should be gonna be taking around for illegal actions, using around for a maximum attack by the 1970s vehicle. So it looks like we're gonna be heading for this out, and we'll be ready to subject that we're gonna be getting onto this thing without any corner cuts. And also, this car does absolutely understeer very much as pretty well as never before. It's because of the anti-understeer or oversteer and because of really that inside of his cockpit view is gonna be getting inside of this vehicle 
And this is the app something for the 1980s version. Not really looks like this one as before. We're gonna be taking onto the gear one. And slightly we're gonna be blasting all the way throughout to the second gear. So only you're gonna be using for a chase cam and taking a little bit for its second gear. Unfortunately, we're gonna be taking a little bit for this close. And we're ready for a huge action that's gonna be closing in without gonna be understeer for very much. Staying around for the second gear. Now let's blast all the way to his third gear. But only using for second gear. As you can see in the front tires, that should might causing for a huge understeer as well. So is it not gonna be taking for a little bit great? 21 seconds faster than a previous record in a Porsche 935. No, looks like we're gonna be hitting you around for the gear number one. Let's all the way blasted about his thing. And I can see it about the fastest acceleration that can cause for a huge understeer as well. For over a hundred miles an hour, under a hundred miles an hour as well. Let's take it on to the final corner. 47.9 5. I think this is not gonna be trying to do like this. Now it feels extremely terrible that I just gotten 12 seconds of corner cutting as well. And because of this one reason that we're gonna be jumping out of the vehicle. So if that is all that I meant to say, it's pretty good that is absolutely already for the lap times. Except the GTR, the Skyline and the the BMW M3 as well. So if you enjoyed for this video about the pre-group 5 lap times as well, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and click that bell. And we're gonna be moving on to Autodromo Niazanali di Monza as literally possible because even someone buddy else that we tried to use that vehicle, that best lap time wasn't the part of this video for at all ways and it's absolutely pretty ruins this mind for just a little bit so thanks for watching and please sure that we're absolutely going to be moving on for our next couple of decades that i'm going to be signing off and i'm going to be talking to you guys all later over and out